Hey there, Kimberly here with Info Brains, and today we're doing an unboxing. Woo! Like I haven't done a lot of those recently from We Crochet, so stay tuned. It came. I'm really excited. Oh, this is. I presume it's from We Crochet. I didn't look closely, but I've been expecting it, and I think that's what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. You know we love We Crochet. They were having some really big sales on their uh, Swish Crochet yarns. And I am deciding that I am going to make something for the Brit because he's so deserving. You know, he edits all of my videos. He doesn't say anything when the yarn comes because he knows that it's all about you and showing you what's out there, you know, and you guys like to see it and I have to do what you like. And he gets it. At least he says he does. So anyway, so I'm going to be making him a sweater. So I found some really cute patterns in that hook, hooked on crochet and knitting, all these different ideas in the book. And uh, uh, so I decided I found some yarn that was on sale because it was that Swish um, Superwash Merino. So take a look and let's see what we got. So in case you guys are like, I'm sorry, miss the memo. What book are we talking about? This book right here, Son of a Stitching Bitch. And so this book specifically has patterns crochet and knit patterns for dudes. And I was like, all right, cool. There's some nice patterns in here. So I showed it to the Brit and he was like, all right, I kind of like that one. So let me show you what we're going to be doing in here. And I found the yarn on sale at We Crochet. This one, this is the one that he liked, which might take a little while because it is knit, basically it's just a knit pullover with a little zipper right here and then there's some color in the in the cuffs and at the base, but this is definitely knitting. So this is gonna take a little bit of time, but I think, I think that's the one we're going with. Anyway, so that's what's in this box of stuff I got for that pattern. Plus, there was a couple other things. Okie dokie. <gasps> oh, it's, it's like Christmas every day. All right. So first thing that I got was now I have this book. I had had this book somewhere. I don't know where it went. I swear I have turned this whole place upside down, but I really, really loved the patterns in here. And this is all crochet and I saw it on, um, we crochet and it was on sale. It's by Susan Kennedy and she has a Facebook page it's actually more of like a YouTube and it's called like peaceful, peaceful something. I'll include her link here. I'm sorry. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll include a link to her channel. And she just has these beautiful like Southwestern patterns, but everything is crochet. And I loved, I just, I love, I love when something like is crochet, but doesn't look crochet and it has some really interesting designs and things in it. So I was, uh, I was really excited to check this out and I had the book and I cannot for the life of me find the copy. I've gone in all my little secret stash areas and I can't find it. So this was on sale and I decided to get myself another copy. So that's what this is, but it's got like artisan baskets in here. Uh, like this really cool Navajo looking bas uh, blanket that is crochet. And she uses a lot of, see here it is here. This is the Globe Trekkers Throw. She uses a lot of Lion Brand Mandala, like this one is using the Lion Brand Mandala. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. And I think I actually have like all the yarn to make that. And so I, I love that whole Navajo Southwestern pattern. I mean, look at that, like that is so pretty and so cool. And yet she's using, you know, like these really fun acrylic yarns that are very inexpensive and that I have a lot of. Even like these guys are pretty awesome. Anyway, so I was really excited to like grab the project and start going and then I, I couldn't find the book. So that's what I got this guy here. So you'll see this pop up quite a bit. Okay, so the colors that I got are all in here. This is the Swish. So like I told you, through the end of February, the Swish is on sale. And they even gave me a um, code. If you use the code LOVECROCHET, uh, you get an additional, I think it's like 
5% off on your total order. I'll include it again in the notes here, but it's only good through the end of the month. Then they're probably going to run some other sale. But this is Swish Worsted Weight. The color I got was called Lost Lake Heather. So it's got that kind of a green color. Isn't that pretty? I'm super, super excited about this. He wanted kind of a olivey color, kind of a green. And he's like, just that's what I want. I'm like, okay, cool. So I found this. It's called again, Lost Lake Heather. This is the worsted weight. So it is a weight of a four. It is 100% super fine, super wash merino wool. And um, each skein has 110 yards. I have a question. What if they ever make it just like an easy 100? or 200. Why does it have to be like 110 or 105 or 185? I don't understand. Maybe it's all it has to do with the grams. Maybe that's what it is. Like you weigh it because this is a 50 gram ball or skein. But honestly, I, I don't really care about the grams as much as I care about the yards. I'm just putting it out there to the yarn council. Like, why do we do this? Everybody does, but that's what a 50 gram weight feels like and it actually has 110 yards so the two colors that I got are the Lost Lake Heather so kind of the green and then this one here is going to be the contrast which is going to be on the cuffs and there at the base and this is the same so it's a weight of 400% fine super wash merino wool and this color is called copper so these are the two colors I'm doing together main color and then the accent color so I think that's masculine really really nice i think he's going to be very happy with this and it's a light it's a weight of four but it's pretty thin so i think this is going to be good so I, basically that's pretty much what i got here but again it was all on sale let me see if there's a slip in here oh there is so i got a lot of skeins of this and a couple skeins of this i don't remember how much this cost I'll have to look it up and the Brit will put it here in the comments as to what the cost was on this stuff. But it was like, I think it came out to like maybe two or three dollars a skein, something like that. Pretty inexpensive for a nice superwash merino wool. So I got all this and then some extra skeins to make sure that I had enough to cover what I wanted to do. So these guys here. Okay. Now, this is a little special. So you all know by now how much I love the O-Fire crochet hooks. That's my jam, right? I love them. I love the price. I love the way they feel. They don't split the yarns. I have done multiple unboxings. I have done reviews against the furls hooks. I haven't done a review against like the prims or anything else, but these are my jam. And it just so happened not long ago that O-Fire got to do a collaboration with We Crochet. And I was very excited. This is the only, they only have one crochet hook color through We Crochet, and you can only get it through We Crochet. So of course I had to get it. And this is it right here. Isn't that lovely? The color is called, I don't know what the color is called. It doesn't say here on the slip, but it is the only color that's available through We Crochet, and they don't have it available on the uh, O-Fire website. However, I got the 4.5. It came in the O-Fire hook, uh, the travel case, which they offer with each one, so that's really cool. You can get these on the O-Fire website. They're an additional $2.99 for these guys. Um, I love them so much. They invited me to be an affiliate which means I get to find out about like special deals and I get to sort of be like a product expert on the O-Fire hooks. And I would consider myself a product expert because I love them so much and I've studied them a lot. So if you have any questions about O-Fires, plug them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. If you want to know how these guys compare to the furl crochet hooks, because they're similar but very different check out this video. I'm going to include a link so you can actually see the difference between them. This is my O-Fire hook collection. Not the whole collection, but a good amount of them is right here. This is the rainbow. This was one of their mistakes. This was my Beetlejuice one. These are my, um, actually I should probably put that back here. This is my rainbow collection, the kaleidoscope. So this new baby here is going to live with its brothers and sisters right here. 
Da -da -da -da. This was the red glitter of fire hook case that they that was on sale uh, right around Valentine's Day. So you know I had to get this guy. So I actually have two of these cases, and I even have their travel case. Literally, when I tell you that I can tell you everything there is to know about oh fire hooks, mm -hmm, right here. So this guy right here, I'm very excited about. This is the size 4.5. Yeah, love these guys. All right, so here's just a couple more of those little skeins that I got for the Brits sweater. We're going on a big trip coming up in April. So shortly, we're going on a cruise and then we're going to be visiting Nashville. So, you know, I got to pack my, my project, whatever that's going to be. So I'm kind of getting into that mode. Like, what am I going to take with me? What's not going to take up a lot of space? And so it might be this. It might be another project as well. If you guys were following me last year when we went to Australia, we did a month-long cruise and then over to Australia. I had a lot of projects with me there. We have a lot of trips coming up. So the first one coming up is when we're going through the Panama Canal during the full solar eclipse, the total solar eclipse, and then we're going to spend some time in Nashville. All right. The other two things that I got, this book was on clearance. I think it was like $5. It's called Cool Crochet for Warm Days. And this is from Knits and Knots. And if you haven't seen Knits and Knots, uh, Janine Maiska, I love her stuff. She has beautiful garments. Number one, the woman is absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. This is her other book. I don't know if it's her first book. It's the first book that I have of hers. And it's Modern Crochet Sweaters. But her patterns are just gorgeous. Her photos are gorgeous. Her pattern, the writing, is absolutely magnificent. I mean, like the capes. And what's really nice is that she gives you, this This book includes 20 patterns, and it goes from extra small to 5XL. She runs like the whole gamut. So you don't have to look at this and go, oh, that's not going to fit me. Like it's very, she really does a great job of scaling up. And her pictures, isn't, she's just, oh, gosh. I wish you were prettier, <sighs> right? Anyways, um, her, her patterns are just really beautiful, very modern, and um, yeah. So anyways, so I've had this book, and you can see I've got some bookmarks of some patterns I wanna make, and this book was with We Crochet, and it was on sale. It was like $5, and this is a lot of like tank tops and things like that. And so because we're getting into some warmer weather, a lot of my videos that I have coming up, things I have planned, are going to be using more, um, not as much of the wool, okay, like I was doing earlier with the different sweaters and things that I was making with the heavier wool, because I'm going to be getting into the lighter. So a lot of cottons, a lot of bamboo, kobu, nubu, trubu, these are all from Lion Brand, that have a bamboo mixture in them, a lot of linens and silks and breathable natural fibers. So we're going to be doing a lot of videos on those guys, and I wanted to get some patterns that would be very applicable to those yarns. I think I feel like when you you really start to sink into your craft and you start to realize these yarns for this temperature and these weights are good for this and you really start to understand and go deeper. Um, I think when that happened for me, I was like, oh, I've almost like hit a new level of enlightenment or something. I don't know. Just, you know, my thought. Anyways, so she's got different wraps and like tank tops and really cute different things like that in here. Let's see, that's really pretty. Anyways, so this book was on uh, clearance with Wee Crochet as well. And the last thing, this was the one that kind of got me interested in looking anyways, was this book was recently released from Wee Crochet. It's called Behind the Seams. And it kind of looks like a movie trailer. So I think it kind of supposed to tie into like um, the Academy Awards film and different things like that. And so this is like even down here below, it looks like movie script, which I thought was pretty fun and cute. And uh, so here we have the meet cute sweater. So if you ever saw the movie, uh, The Holiday, and uh, they're talking about, you know, like what a meet cute is back in the old days and the old time movies when they would meet kind of coincidentally. So that's came in there. Then there is one called the leading lady duster, one called the motion picture mosaic. One's called the rom-com cardi and then the producer pullover. So let's take a look and see what those are. But I thought how fun and super cute fun names. And um, this is actually produced by We Crochet. So I know the patterns are going to be amazing. This is called the meet cute sweater. 
really a cute and lovable adorable that's good for warmer weather it looks nice and thin but there's some um uh, like holes through it you know some venting holes and then here's the pattern here the next oh here's a nice picture of it so it's just a nice looks like it's almost a raglan style pullover so that's what that one looks like there and, uh, and this is a brand new release from We Crochet. The next one is called the Leading Lady Duster. So adorable. So that's that guy. And of course it's gonna tell you, and these are all crochet. It's gonna tell you, you know, what, your, what yarns to use. And of course they're gonna recommend their yarns, but you can use any weight that you like. Um, isn't that pretty? Just a nice block color duster. That's really pretty. That's really pretty. That would be actually great with the colors that I just got, but these are for the Brit. They're safe for the Brit. They're not for me. This one is called the Motion Picture Mosaic Cardi. So that's really cute. With a nice little diamond mosaic pattern in there. If you've never done mosaic, it looks really complicated, but it's really not. And you have this beautiful result. I love doing mosaic. So I might have to choose that one. That's it down there. Really, really pretty. Then we've got, oh, here's another. So this is going to show you a mosaic chart. That's how that's going to work. And then that's what it looks like there. Okay. Again, all crochet. So pretty. This one's called the Rom-Com Cardi. So just a nice basic Cardi. Love this. Okay. Pattern. Yada, yada, yada. Here it is here. So that's just a nice V-neck button-up Cardi. Similar to the one I'm doing right now, which is the... Harry Styles patchwork cardigan. This is called the producer pullover. This one here. It's got some nice bell sleeves. That's really pretty. And um, yeah, I really like those bell sleeves. Really cute. What I like about these is, and also with Janine Miska, 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 is that, you know, you look at these and you go, that doesn't really look like crochet, which, not that I hate that, but sometimes you don't want it to look as homemade. You know what I mean? And so I'm excited to give this one a try. This is a producer pullover. Not a very big book. What I like too is their books, like their, um, I have their glow crochet book and they're, they're tiny. They're not very big. Um, so they're easy to pack, take them on trips. You know, all the patterns, everything you need is just right inside here. And then here's a picture of all the different patterns that you get. So this actually includes... What did I say? One, two, three, four, five, five patterns. I think that's what I just went through. Five patterns. These are all, so the designer on all of these is Brianna Kepner. She has a YouTube called Brianna K. I'll include a link to her YouTube channel, but that's it right there. But this is behind the seams. And then, so all the yarns that she uses, it looks like is the recycled DK weight, 100% recycled acrylic yarn. Oh, yes, exactly. She also uses the Heatherly, which is a worsted weight, 80% acrylic, 20% merino wool. Provincial Tweed, which is worsted weight, 80% fine superwash highland wool with 20% Dongle, Donegal Tweed, which is made of acrylic and viscous. Swish, we love Swish, we know that. The DK weight, fine superwash merino wool, so that would be this guy here. That's exactly what this one is here. And then the other yarn she uses is the upcycled alpaca blend, which is worsted weight, 30, 34% wool, 33% alpaca, and 33% acrylic. And then it gives you even some more patterns here. So yeah, but this was a collaboration, I guess I would say, between Brianna and We Crochet. But yeah, there's five patterns in this one here. So this is what I just got. I will include the link below because We Crochet is offering more sales. They're only offering a sale on the Swish DK through the end of the month. They're going to offer some other sales. I just don't know what they are right now, but right now I know that it's the Swish DK and then the Love Crochet discount code, which is Love Crochet, which they gave to me to give to you. That's good for 20% off your entire order only through the end of the month. So you guys can check these things out here. But I am excited to get started. I am running out of whips, meaning I'm finishing my work faster than I'm creating my whips. So right now I'm down to, I think, three whips, two knit and one crochet. And I'm going to be starting a new crochet this week. This, unfortunately, fortunately, 
unfortunately, is going to be um, probably a knit sweater, which means it's just going to take a long time to do. But then I do love this. So this might be a project that I take with me on our new trip coming up. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just wait and see. Um, but there you go. And then, of course, my new We Crochet Baby. Gosh, my new We Crochet and O Firehook collaboration. This is a limited edition, meaning it's only available at We Crochet, but it is an O Fire. It's a beautiful color. It's kind of a, I don't know if it's aquamarine or what they call this color, but I remember it was only available at, um, at We Crochet. So take a look. I'm going to include all the links below, all the shopping links. And if you want to know more about these O Fire hooks, why I am so on fire, pun intended, check out the video that I'm including here, which shows you where I did a review and why I like these guys so much. I'm comparing them against the furl crochet hooks, which is the closest thing that's out there to an ergonomic resin hook and why I like these guys so much. Um, so there you go. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, at least a subscribe. So you know when all my videos are coming out, you get all those notifications. Otherwise you just kind of stumble across. But if you did just stumble across me, Thank you so much. I hope you stick around. I hope you watch more of my videos. You know, like take a look backwards, see where I was, see where I've been, see where I'm at now, and then you can see where we're going as well. Invite your friends, tell them to come over. We have so much fun here. I don't take myself seriously. I hope you don't either. We just, we're here having fun and we're talking about yarn. How can that be a serious thing? It's just fun and we're creating beautiful memories, cardigans, clothes, blankets, all kinds of fun stuff, and maybe even a little amigurumi too. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains. And as always, I'll see you soon.